why apply patches there used to be a times when I were at the customer site and a few functional users have come to me and ask what are patches and why do we apply them on the server what is the significance of patches since they have no IT background they didn't know what exactly patches were so I'm sure you also would have gone through such situations wherein customer might ask you similar questions so it's important to understand why do we apply patches as an example I've listed on a couple of major points out here to start with a patch is required to fix a bug as simple as that for instance if you or if the user is working on entering a purchase order in Oracle applications and he gets some kind of an error an unex unexpected error say some message is thrown saying some API is not working so that's that th that could be something which could be a bug some bugs uh, can be fixed through in-house Oracle applications DBA if it's a small bug and you can find out potentially the root cause of that bug could be a customization but sometimes a bug could be from the standard application release itself it could be a product bug that's where you go back to Oracle and raise a service request and Oracle provide you a patch to fix that bug so first type of patch application could be fixing a bug all right now the second type of a patch application is adding new functionality what do you mean by that for instance <coughs> until release 12.0 of eBusiness suite you will not find supplier management modules in release 12.0 but going forward from release 12.1.1 and 12.1.3 has got new functionalities in relation to modules for supplier management like supplier lifecycle management or supplier hubs so assuming that <coughs> if the customer have come back to you and saying say that okay I would like to have a supplier management functionality in my system and when you investigate you'll find out what I just described you in that case you'll go back to the customer and, and explain that all right your current release is on 12.0 but you need to upgrade the system to have this additional functionality so that's where you apply additional patches to have new functionalities now the example that I've gave you was like adding a completely new module itself but sometimes what happens is you've got additional functionality in uh, existing module itself say for instance there there, uh, there used to be a time wherein uh, 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 wherein uh, a contingent worker couldn't be associated with multiple purchase orders a contingent worker used to be associated just with one purchase order but the new functionality has come wherein a contingent worker in in uh, purchasing can be associated with multiple purchase orders and that didn't require a complete upgrade it was just a patch so such things are like additional functionality for a business without impacting the entire server all right <coughs> the next type of patch application could be apply new product enhancements <coughs> excuse me so new product enhancement could be as I've just described you that could be one it could be additional of addition of new modules like what I described you like supplier hub or supplier lifecycle management or sometimes you you will have a integration uh, with say external systems as an additional functionality for instance supplier hub lets you integrate with additional ERP systems to suck in the data for new suppliers and then to pump them back so that's like a additional functionality then another type of patch application is upgrading to a higher family pack 
sometimes what happens is as I've just described you about fixing a bug Oracle gives one-time bug a one-time pat patches for fixing specific bugs but what happens is certain certain times you end up in applying say tens of patches say 10 patches or 20 patches for a specific product a suite of family all right for instance you end up in applying 20 patches for financials across financials it could be AP AR you know internet expenses or you know general ledger or so on it's very difficult to keep track of all those uh, patches that you have applied to fix those bugs at the same time there is a risk that if you apply a new patch it might impact them that's where a family pack comes into picture wherein this combines a bulk of the patches that's been released by Oracle over a specific period of time and it's not only the patches that you have applied but it, it can also include additional patches with respect to bugs reported by other customers it can also include ad enhanced functionalities so that's where the upgrade to family pack comes into picture and that's where you go about applying those family packs to your application server and lastly you apply patches to upgrade to a higher point release or a higher release what do you mean by higher point release a point release is something like if you're already on 12.1 system then 12.1 you say 12.1 but in the background that system could be 12.1.0 or 12.1.1 so what I just told you 12.1.1 is what you call it as a point release a next release in this would will be 12.1.2 and then the next will be 12.1.3 so as the new releases comes into picture they will have a uh, big amount of application functionalities introduced through the way of family packs combined from multiple product families and that's where you end up in upgrading to a point release on the contrary a release means what the example I just, uh, I just gave you was release 12.1 right so in 12.1 you've got three parts I've, I've just told you 12.1.1 12.1.2 and 12.1.3 right they are point releases another a uh, another concept is upgrading the release itself so from 12.1 to 12.2 or from 12.1 to 12.3 that's what you call it as a release all right and that will have a significant amount of patches built into the whole upgrade pack so basically these are the different kinds of patch applications that an organization can potentially have there could be many others but these are the commonly used ones all right that said now let's proceed ahead to understand the patch concepts including patch file structure patch formats code lines and code levels <laughs>